Well, she created quite a flutter yesterday. We are talking about Mamta Banerjee, who issued an open dare to the Election Commission. She stood her ground, openly challenging the poll panel. But finally, the Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamta Banerjee, was forced to agree to the EC directive of transferring seven top officials, but not before setting her own terms, demanding the expulsion of the Deputy Election Commissioner. Here's the full story. She vowed to fight the Election Commission's directive till the end. But hours later, Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee relented to transfer all seven officers from poll duty. The TMC Supremo's decision, however, comes with a caveat. Mamta has agreed to transfer her officials only if the EC sacks its deputy commissioner. Accusing the election commission of having political motives, Mamata will be writing them a letter today for not consulting her government on the decision. She has accused the election commission of playing a political game against her and the state of West Bengal. And she will hold the election commission responsible if there is any law and order problem in the state during the elections. The scathing attack on the election commission by the Bengal chief minister inviting much criticism from opposition parties. It is for the first time such a confrontation is taking place. Ms. Mamata Banerjee is playing with fire. She had taken the allegiance while becoming the chief minister that she would have a respect for the constitution of India. This is what she is violating. She is violating her constitutional allegiance. This is not the first time Mamata is on a collision course with the election commission. And with the deputy election commissioner on her target now, the state is set for another showdown with the EC. With Shambhat in Kolkata, Sneha Daswal for Times Now.